So you may be wondering why Galesburg Augusta Community Schools has put this proposal back on the ballot in November 2nd. Shortly after the bond proposal did not go through in May, many community members encouraged our Board of Education to try again. Why? Because the needs have not gone away. We have an opportunity to grow, but with the facilities that we currently have, we're, we can't grow. We're hoping to get this bond passed so the fourth graders can come back to the primary and that we have plenty of room for everyone. Every single classroom in our building at this point is being used for some purpose or another. There is a class going on in every space. We are at capacity at the high school where we cannot have additional programs that we would like to offer for our students. We had made that promise that we would work very hard to get our fourth graders back into the elementary school and get our eighth graders back into the middle school where they belong in a typical school system. For $60 a year, we will be able to add additional classrooms to our primary school and, as a result, we can keep our class sizes small. The bond project has gone up in price due to inflation. However, the mills that we must levy have gone down from 1.5 to 1.2. As a result, the average amount that a taxpayer will now pay is only $5 a month or $60 a year. It would be a huge advantage if the district acted on the low interest rates, allowing us to pay off this proposal in 19 years. Construction would be able to begin in 2022 and would be completed in 2023. We want to bring opportunities to every child in Galesburg Augusta Community Schools. It's really important that our students see how much we value them, that they can take pride, um, that they know that their community is behind them. Please remember to vote on November 2nd. Go Rams! Go Rams! Go Rams! Go Rams! Go Rams. Go Rams.